give me 10 minutes and I'm gonna help you reduce your errors by about 30% if you listen to the advice in this video. My name is Tony Roy. I'm a master teaching professional with the IPTPA. I'm also a senior pro player and I'm co-creative player development at We Are Pickleball. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you're trying to play against the best player in pickleball and by doing so, you're affecting your results. What I'm talking about, folks, is I'm not talking about Ben Johns. I'm not talking about Simone Jardim. Both fantastic players. Some of the best human players in the game. But the best player in the game, let's walk over here, I'm gonna show them to you. Or her. It's right here. Folks, that's the best player in the game. Nobody beats that player. And in fact, if you watch Ben and Simone when they're playing, and any other top level pro, if you wanna see them like not happy with their play, usually it's when they're playing against the net. You know, you watch a player like that, right? A Kyle Yates, uh, any, any player like that, Catherine Parental, right? They miss a put away, they're okay with that. They understand that's how the game you know, happens, right? But watch them drop a third shot drop or something like that into the net. Look at the expression on their face. That's when they know that they made a mistake that they could have fixed. And if you think about it, right? If you could take the net out of play, just keep the ball going over and over, even if they go out, right? If they're gonna go out, your opponent hits it, good for you. You hit the net, 100% guaranteed that the rally's gonna be over. Right? So next time you're thinking about like, you know, I might hit the net, I might hit a pop-up, take the pop-up folks, take the pop-up smash over the net all day long. Now let's talk about a couple other, other aspects of the net. Let me give you some help with, with, uh, with how, how to avoid the net. I'm going to move this, this one right here and we're going to talk a little bit about the net, right? So what a lot of you guys are doing is y'all are hitting the net here. Y'all are basically like skimming this net over and over and over again. And what's interesting when you watch video, right? You watch the best players, the best pro players, <laughs> they don't mess with the net. They just don't mess with this net, you know? But you watch even good three fives, good four O's, even four fives, right? All of them, what do they want to do? They just want to skim this net, right? They think that anything that's high above the net is going to get them in trouble. Folks, what's killing you on your, on your pop-ups and things like that, you don't want to attack, isn't the height of your ball. It's the depth of your ball. Listen to the pros, they'll tell you. It is not height, it is depth. And that's where I think players get confused. They start thinking, you know, I don't want to hit that ball high over the net because if I hit it high over the net, what's going to happen? They're going to, they're going to attack it. The reason that's wrong is the non-volley zone on that side. It doesn't let them run up to the net and attack it. So even if it's high, in the, high over the net, but shallow, you're going to be fine. Whereas a lower ball over the net, but deep, that's where you get in trouble. So what we recommend, generally speaking, is that as you get closer to the net, you're still gonna respect the net. You can bring it down some. So you're dinking. There's nothing wrong with dinking this high over the net. So say like a laid down paddle like this over the net is fine. Sometimes you're gonna to wanna to stand up paddle over the net depending on what kind of trouble you're in. The more trouble you're in, you're in the higher you're gonna hit it. When you're in a situation where you can put some, you know, some movement on the ball and things like that, you can bring it down a little bit. If you wanna bring it down a little bit more, okay. Never should you hit a ball an inch over the net. Just does not make any sense to ever tempt that net. Now there's other situations where you want your balls to be even higher. Let's talk about like a four shot punch volley. Why not use a paddle height as your, as your target on that one? Paddle height over the net is gonna work great. What about like your serves and your returns of serve? Why not go four feet over the net? Three, four, five feet over the net is gonna work perfectly great on a ball on your serve or your return of serve. It's gonna work perfectly fine. So try the, the bigger target over the net, take the net out of play, you'll start reducing the errors of having the net affect your shots, okay? So the other thing I wanna talk about the net is not just on your side, right? So we talk about the net having a negative, right? We talk about a negative on this side and how it increases the number of errors that you have because you're not respecting the net. But what players don't understand is a lot of times, the net has two sides. This side is working against you. This side is working for you. So as you play, think about that, right? When you're hitting a ball from here to there, let's try and avoid the net on our side, right? Let's give ourselves those nice clearances over the net. But when I'm putting the ball over on the other side of the net, why not use it to your advantage there? Why not put it in a place where it'll provide you some coverage? The way we talk about it, we talk about it, think about it like activating a force field, okay? So you're on this side of the net and you wanna to move to that side of the net, right? What's the best way to, to, to do that is to activate the force field. I'm gonna go to the other side to illustrate that for you. So 
So now I'm on this side of the net, right? So I'm the attacker. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the one you got to worry about. I'm the one that's going to slam you and attack you with balls. How can you avoid me attacking you with balls? Activate the shield. Activate this force field for yourself. Put the ball behind it, right? And make it so that my paddle has to go down here to hit the ball. What happens there is I can't attack you anymore. But too many players play where they don't recognize the positive side of the net, meaning the other side. And you put balls up here a lot or up here a lot. And all you're doing there is you're not using the shield, this, this advantage that you have potentially to, to protect yourself as you move forward. So you're open to attack. You're basically naked out there when you put the ball up here or the ball up here and I'm able to attack it. Remember, what matters is the depth of the ball. It's coming deep so I can attack it, not its height. Because if you put it high over the net, but it drops into this zone where I'm not hitting underneath the net or at the net, that's where you activate the force field. So next time you're playing, keep in mind the two sides of the net. There's a side of the net that's harmful or negative, detrimental potentially to you. That's this side of the net. Give that side of the net a lot of respect. Don't even hit it where the grubby little hands of the net can reach up there and grab it and pull it down. And remember the other side of the net is your friend. Use that side of the net to activate the force field and give yourself some protection. One last quick note about the net. You know those dribblers that annoy some players? I don't know if it annoys you or not, but it annoys a lot of players. Those balls that just hit the net, dribble over for a winner. Don't be upset about those. In fact, if you could tell your opponent what shot to hit, suggest that they try that shot again and again and again. You know why? They're playing with the net. And eventually what's going to happen, they're going to hit the net, hit the net, hit the net. They'll get a dribbler once in a while. Don't worry about that. Worry about the big picture. Encourage them to keep on hitting those dribblers so they hit that net and you'll get plenty of points on your side of the net. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Hit that like button. It helps other players find the content. Plus, you'll get more of this kind of content. Particularly if you hit that little bell button. That'll help you out. I'm going to link to some videos up here. You can keep on learning the game. Big picture, folks, when you're out there. Respect that net on your side. Use the net on the other side. And what will happen is your game will improve. Have fun out there.